Welcome to Core Engineering, your go-to channel for simplified engineering concepts. You've seen it on gas cylinders, water pumps, and even in your car's engine. But have you ever wondered how a pressure gauge actually works? What's happening inside that little dial that measures pressure so accurately? Stay till the end, we'll also reveal the top reasons why pressure gauges fail. From household devices to high-pressure industrial systems, Pressure gauges are literally everywhere. But it's not just a moving needle, it's smart mechanical engineering at work. In this video, we'll break it down in the simplest way possible, with animations. First things first, what is pressure? Pressure is simply the force applied per unit area. Whenever a gas or liquid pushes against a surface, like the inside of a pipe or a tank, it creates pressure. Think of blowing air into a balloon, the more you blow, the higher the pressure inside. Now, let's look at the types of pressure gauges. The burden tube gauge, the most commonly used. The diaphragm gauge, for low pressure applications. The capsule gauge, ideal for measuring gas pressure. And the digital gauge, used in automated systems. In this video, we'll focus on the burden tube type, used in nearly 90% of all mechanical gauges. Here's where the magic happens, the burden tube. It's a curved, hollow metal tube sealed at one end. When pressure enters from the open end, the tube starts to straighten out. This tiny movement is transferred through a system of linkages and gears to the needle on the dial. And just like that, the pressure is displayed. No electricity, no sensors, just clever mechanical design doing its job. If you have any doubts or questions so far, Drop them in the comments, we love to help out. You'll find pressure gauges in all sorts of places. Industrial boilers, oil gas refineries, scuba diving gear, hydraulic systems, fire extinguishers, and even your kitchen's LPG cylinder. They're essential wherever fluid or gas pressure needs to be monitored for safety and efficiency. But like all equipment, gauges can fail too. The most common reasons include Excessive vibration, corrosion or rusting, extreme pressure or temperature, and blockages. To avoid this, always use isolators or snubbers in high vibration areas and ensure proper calibration and installation. So next time you look at a pressure gauge, remember, inside that dial is a simple curved tube trying to straighten out, translating pressure into readable numbers. And here's a bonus tip, while digital gauges are trending, Mechanical gauges still rule where ruggedness, reliability, and simplicity matter most. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you now have a clear understanding of how a pressure gauge works. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Core Engineering for more such awesome content. Got a topic you'd like us to explain next? Drop it in the comments.